What's going on? Rich Demiro here, Rich on Tech. Wanted to make sure you are fully informed about this Siri shortcut that's making the news. All the headlines will lead you to believe that all you have to do is say this magic phrase to your phone, and next thing you know, your iPhone is going to spring into action by recording the situation, by sending the video to a friend, uploading it to iCloud, texting a friend, and all you have to do is say to your iPhone, I'm getting pulled over. It's not that easy. You do have to set something up. This is not built into the iPhone by default. So let me show you what you have to do if you want to, in fact, test out this shortcut in advance or have it ready to go on your phone in case you actually ever needed it. First off, let's try the phrase that is in all of the headlines. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. I don't understand. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. But so you I can search the web for it. So she doesn't natively know what to do when you say that. You have to install what's called a shortcut. And this person, Robert Peterson, has created a Siri shortcut. Not many people use the Siri shortcuts, but they are on the phone. Uh, if you don't have the app, let me show you what the app looks like. Here is the app. If you don't have this shortcuts app on your phone, you do need to install that before you can use one of these shortcuts. And you can't go into the gallery. You have to get this link. So here is the latest link by Robert Peterson. You click this link, and if you've never enabled unknown shortcuts on your phone, you're gonna have to go through some security questions to do just that. But once you do that, you press get shortcut, and now it's gonna add this shortcut to your Siri shortcuts. And if you look at all these uh, things that it does, so when I say I'm getting pulled over, it's gonna turn the volume down, it's gonna turn the brightness down, it's gonna turn do not disturb on, it's gonna set the volume to zero, set the brightness to zero, get your current location, it's gonna send your current location to someone that you choose, it's gonna take a video with the front camera, and it's gonna send your video to someone that you choose again, and it's going to also prompt you to upload that video to iCloud or Dropbox and all that good stuff. So uh, I have to say add untrusted shortcut, which sounds kind of scary, but I think it's okay. So I'm gonna do that. And then you gotta configure this shortcut. So you have to say, who do you want to notify when you get pulled over? And so I'm gonna put in a phone number here. And then next thing you know, who do you wanna send a copy of this video to? So I'm gonna put in my email address here. And now it is added to my shortcuts. Now, for that to work, you actually have to run it the first time. So if you don't ever run this shortcut here, uh, it's not gonna work the first time you try to do it because watch what happens when we actually run this. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. I'm getting pulled over would like to access your location. Whenever you run this shortcut, I'm getting pulled over. We'll be able to access your location. So you have to say okay to that. Now it's going to run the second part. And it's taken a while to... I'm getting pulled over. Would like to send messages. So now it wants to send messages. So we have to say okay to that. I'm getting pulled over. Now it wants to access my camera because... run this shortcut. I'm getting... I need to do that. And now you can see it is actually recording on the front facing camera. I just got a text message with my location. So that was uh, sent to me and when I press stop, it will say use video. And now it will like to access my photos and it's gonna send this to the person that I asked to send it to. And it's gonna ask to upload. I'm gonna say let's upload to iCloud Drive it's gonna save that. And I think that is it. So now the next time that you run this shortcut, things are gonna be a lot quicker, a lot smoother. And let's just try it. Let's just say our phone is off and there it is. And here we go. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. I'm on it. And now it's springing into action and You'll it- You need to unlock your device first. Ooh, that's so- you do need to use your face ID to do that, which um, could be a problem. Okay, now that we have everything set up properly and we've run this a few times to make sure it works, let's just see how it works. If you had your phone down and said, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. I'm on it. And you can see it springs into action and it should start recording and send a text message, which 
There it goes. I got the text. It is recording, and so everything is working. All right, thanks so much for watching Rich DeMuro, richontech.tv. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks. Bye-bye.